Guys, I came across this question. How do you catch fish in your reef tank? Any suggestions? Right, there's about 97 comments over here. Of course, half of them could be like just, you know, supporting or they are just making a joke. But there's some good ones that we can actually use from here to catch fish because I think that's one of the hardest thing to do in a reef tank. Uh, even in a fresh water, right, is to catch that fish. We're just going to focus on reef tank over here, right? Reef tank. How do you catch a fish? One. Yes! 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 yes. He's out of there! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Yes. So let's go into the comments and see what they say. Doesn't mean I'm an expert on catching fish, but I would say this kind of advice is legit and you should try them out. Not so helpful yet. Um, some say with a fish trap. One eternity later. I was walking with the LOL I had to tie out my cl clowns to catch them honestly Frankly, I've seen my friend just in front of me using two nets and it still took two hours No, it's not going to be the easier way out uh, With all the rocks, they can hide behind the hot rocks Here is get your net in there and set the trap So the trap here, we've got it flush against the glass or acrylic and there's a gap on the other side over here. We need to herd them around. And you can see, like, obviously I've got some in the net right here. But we kind of want to get, oh god, big scary hand and get them to come around. That's what you want to do is, and we're not, you know, we don't want to be forceful about it. And so then you get, there's a bunch of fish in here, right? From Isaac Abrams, if they don't sleep inside of a rock, you can turn on all the lights in the middle of the night. They'll stun them for a few minutes and they can be caught very easily. Well, the difficulty or the challenge in this thing is that they might slip inside the rock and if you're not fast enough, they might still go behind the rocks and you feel that it's back to square one. Most of the cases you can catch them in a few seconds during the night. I recommend doing it 5 or 6 a.m. They are slept so they are just floating as zombies. They just don't realize it. Try it. Maybe what Gustavo is saying here could be true. 5 to 6 a.m. they are really really like, you know, uh, you know, not like, maybe they are probably in a deeper sleep than what they will, will be at 12 or 1 or 2 a.m. even, right? So 5 to 6 a.m. actually is a good timing, right? Thanks, Gustavo. Hmm. Wow. Not much of a... a advice i see so far blow that chris Genenzo. are you sure you want to blow that a couple of them are giving the fish trap thingy do you know yeah fish trap can work but there is a rhythm to it there's a pattern when you know but uh, once the fish is in there i punctured a couple of holes in the jug so it can sink and I'm holding it up with the uh, with my MagFlow. I also have the algae clip in there. You can drop some food in there as well. What we have to do is now be patient and hopefully uh, the fish start going in there to eat. Check it out guys. So guess who's in the doghouse? Yes, we were able to catch them. The trap works perfectly. It took about three days. <laughs> small hook and a squid depends on what kind of fish we are talking about come on mark squid 
a lot of them talk about trap, drain the swamp. Oh my goodness. What what do you mean by drain the swamp? Put in the net, put the net in the water and let the fish swim in for the food. And cut the and cut the power heads off so that the shrimp won't fly out of the net. Then you hold the net at an angle and just wait. And you will see that the fishes are going to go swim in it. At one point, I had almost every fish. Wait for it to go to sleep. Fish trap, don't feed for a day. Next day, they get into a trap to eat. Now, Patrick Ray Gregoris, that's a mouthful. Fish trap, don't feed for a day or two. Now, at least he got it right to a good extent. Now, fishes can live up to like seven days without food. So, you don't have to worry if they don't eat one day or two days. But the next time, you know, uh, you put the food after two days, you put it into the trap and they will fight to get into the trap. And that's probably going to be easier if it's, of course, the fish is ideal for the trap. If you have an angel or a huge tank fish, of course, they, they won't be able to, you know, enter the trap. So it really depends. It's a big fish or a small fish as well, right? Now, I like what Jamie Sorensen also mentioned. When you feed, have a net ready when it comes to the top scoop out. I had to do it a few times. Easiest way, I reckon, get them first time every time. Uh, Jamie gave a very good suggestion. I think it works, right? I've never tried this before. But, you know, when you are going to feed, they come to the top. And that's where you get a scoop very easily on the fish that you want. So, if you fail, then you have to come again for another time when you're going to feed them. Okay? Feed very little, I would say. So that uh, if it's a fail attempt, you can feed again and probably it will come up again. Okay? Right? I've used this for years. You just have to wait, watch and grab it as soon as they get in because sometimes it I'll swim right back out or it swim right back out, which is true. That's why traps are not the easiest, I would say, and make a mess out of your tank. Anton, flashlight in the middle of the night while they're sleeping good will disorient them long enough to scoop them up. Mm. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe it works. Tell me if it works. Ah, this is a very good one. No, I'm just joking. Louis Farley. That's a good joke. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Now, Todd Reynolds uh, mentioned something that I've seen a few times people telling this. If you can control your lights, like what I have is also an AI Prime where I can control full rate. Uh, so certain lights, uh, probably your Hydra or maybe even your Castle, uh, of course, Radions, all these can be able to control rate. So if you can, uh, probably in the night time after the lights are out, then you will switch on your red and that disorientates. I, I heard the fishes cannot see in the red spectrum. So there's a good time to catch the fish, right? So you can try that and let them go to sleep and wait until they are in REM sleep, all comfy on their little wet beds. Iris Salazar, you really have a good imagination. So these are some of the ways that we can use to catch your fish. Good luck to all of you. Right, and um, good luck to all of you catching your fish and bringing out all these jerks outside of your tank. Nobody likes jerks in our tank. I think the big thing is a lot of people don't understand is sometimes they don't understand jerks until they meet a jerk. But the wise ones, no, you should never put a jerk into your tank. Like a dotty bag or, I mean, most dotty bags uh, or, or damsel. And good luck with the fish trap. See ya. See, what, what I did was I, the top right here, where that little, that thing is, I put a piece of um, food in, a pellet, and then I just kind of had it drop down. And, and he saw it, so he was nipping at it until it got to the bottom here. But I held, I held the bottom about right here. And when he went like this, he, he was so eager to get the food. I just, I shot that thing down and he, I was quicker than, I'm quicker than him. So that, that's how I caught him. Cover it with your hand or something so he doesn't just swim out. But yeah, I caught him.